or let's let's just go ahead let's just have some fun let's go ahead and have some fun why don't we Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. If this is your first time tuning in, consider subscribing to the channel for more unboxing and fishing content. That's right, I'm back again with another unboxing. This one is gonna be a box chock full of heaters from the six. Speaking of heaters, check out theheaterzone.com, score yourself a t-shirt. We also have the Faduta shirts available, fish every day until the apocalypse, as well as sticker packs. And here pretty soon, we're gonna be picking the winner of the Super Power Pack giveaway. Anyone who orders a piece of merch off theheaterzone.com is automatically entered, giving away a big swim bait, a pair of Waterland shades, and a brand new bait bag, chock full of heaters from the six. So get your orders in, get entered into the giveaway. But the name of the game today is a fresh unboxing. If you guys saw the previous unboxing video, we took a look at a bunch of the new Kitex that I got. And I have some things in this box over here that are gonna pair up nicely with these Kitex, the green pumpkin variations. You probably see where I'm going with that. If you haven't seen the previous unboxing when this video is over, you can go back and check that out. We opened up a bunch of cool stuff from Tackle Warehouse, including the new Tactical Bassing DD crankbaits. But the name of the game today in this one is all Team Six heaters, heaters only. You know the deal. Let's crack off into the box, see what's going down. Yo, yo, yo. Shoo-wee. All right, these are always really fun, man. First out of the box, when it comes to jig trailers, one of my absolute favorite things to put on the back of a Divine Hybrid jig or even a swim jig is the Stroker Craw. So I doubled up on the Green Pumpkin Stroker Craw. There's a look at that bad boy. Throw that on the back of a jig or a swim jig. You'll be kicking and flicking your way to a monstro. Needed some more green pump. Some of that big pop of green pump in the boat. So we went ahead and grabbed a couple packs of those. But let's see what else we got in here. First up, Devon swim jig, quarter ounce. Grass mutant is the color. Check that thing out, dude. That mutant, got that mutant. That mutant, you want that real mutant, dude? Awesome. Natural bluegill sunfish style pattern. You can see Cooper sitting back there. He's just chilling, hanging out, watch me shoot the vid. That's my dog, Cooper. Here's another squim jig, man. This is the baby brim color. Check it out. It's a nice looking sunfish pattern. Boom, that'll pair up well with those green pumpkin style Kitex we got. What else? Another one. Here's another sunfish pattern. This is bluegill spawn. You guys see the pattern developing here. I needed some more bluegill patterns, man. Some more natural green pumpkin style swim jigs. So that's what I went with. Now my plan for these is to not only fish the Kitex, but also the stroker craws that I already showed you. Stroker craw on the back of a swim jig, popping and hopping that thing up and down off the bottom. I love dragging a swim jig. Just because it's a swim jig doesn't mean you gotta swim it. And you guys know that uh, I'll be dragging and bagging with the swim jig out there sometimes when they're not eating it on the move. Dragging and bagging, kicking and flicking, you know the deal. Here's another one. This is another grass mutant, only in 3 8 ounce. A couple different weight variations there. A little shallow, a little deeper, you know the deal. Ooh wee, check this out. New packaging, powered by Six Sense Lure Lab. Made in USA, what? Some American made squim jig action. This is a half ounce hydrilla gill and melon red. Awesome dude, stoked on those. Let's bust these open, take a look. Hydrilla gill, just a black and green pumpkin variation. Psh, supernatural, it's gonna go great with one of those stroker craws. I can, let's, let's just go ahead, let's just have some fun. Let's go ahead and have some fun, why don't we? Let's grab our pack of stroker craws, that stroker smoke. Let's take one of these bad boys and thread it on. You guys already know one of my favorite features of the Devon Swim Jigs is a screw lock bait keeper system. Keeps your bait snug and secure. Tough to beat that screw lock. So I'm gonna take this stroker craw and I'm gonna trim just a few sections off the back end of that bad boy. About like that right there. Give it a little bit more of a compact profile. Neighbor's dog going nuts. Neighbor's dog hates me. Now we're gonna take that stroker craw, thread it onto that hook just like we would normally. Come out dead center between the eyes and then push it up to the screw. Twist it on on. Give it the twist. Give it the old twist right there. Ooh, ooh. Last step, separate those appendages. And that right there is exactly how I'm going to fish that swim jig. Swim it, hop it up and down off the bottom, drag it. Rocky bottom lake here. And that chin does really well pulling through those rocks. Love throwing a swim jig, man. All types of ways, all different ways. And that right there, man, that's a killer. Can't wait to throw that bad boy. Made in USA, the swim jig. That's the hydrilla gill. This other one is the melon red. 
So my idea for the, oh, I love the eyes on that. Look at the eyes on that bad boy. My idea for this one is to throw the dark melon red stroker craw on the back as a trailer. I would do that with you guys right now, but my dark melon reds are in the boat. So we'll have to save that for out there on the water. But that hydrilla gill right there with that green pumpkin stroker craw on the back, psh, deadly. Awesome. All right, man, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving with the unboxing. Don't worry, I got some hard baits in here. It's not all swim jigs and soft plastics. Next up, it's fall time, transitioning into early winter, and a great bait to have on deck when the water starts getting cold is a jerk bait. Six Cents happens to make one of the best jerk baits out there, the Provoke 106X, and I have some in this box right here. Let's check them out. Provoke number one, that's the Shad Scales. You guys know I love this color, Shad Scales. Let's crack another pack, take an up close and personal look at this jerk bait. You guys know when we do these unboxings, I like to take everything out and give you an up close and personal look at the insanely awesome colors the Sixth Sense offers. Boom, those awesome iridescent scales on there, dark color back, white body. Whew, that's a killer. The Provoke 106 jerkbait. Had to stock up on a few more of these because I plan on honing in my jerkbait fishing skills. This is a technique that I sort of am not so good at, don't have a lot of confidence in, but I plan on forcing myself to uh, try to improve out there during the colder months this year. So I wanted to stock up on the Provokes. And that is the first of a few that I have in this box to show you. Provoke number two, that is sick. Dude, check this thing out. This is the Table Rock Pro, and I am super stoked on this color. It looks even better in person, as with most of their baits. The website does not do them justice. That right there is a killer. It's got that ghost look, light white body, translucent, little lavender on the back, dude. Psh, man, I know Baxter the Bait Man would love this color. Also, with the scales on the side. Psh, dude, that's a killer. Provoke 106 heater, straight deadly, dude. That'd probably be the first one I'd tie on right there. That's gonna do excellent out here on my clear water. That's the Table Rock Pro, Provoke 106X, jerk bait. Psh, here's another one. Check this out, Ghost Sexified Shad killer yes sir yes sir awesome got that yellow chartreuse lateral line got the dark shad color back black dot ghost body and as always with all six cents baits you're getting super sharp black nickel hooks and high quality hardware 3d realistic eyes molded in gill plates molded in scales nothing but heaters heaters only from the six man heaters only heaters only that's a killer stoked to add that to the arsenal as somebody who flies a plane right over my driveway while I'm shooting a video. Never fails. Stoked on those provokes. Provoke stoke, provoke smoke. You know the deal, team six all day. But wait, there's more. I mentioned Baxter the Bait Man a minute ago. Shout out to the Bait Man. And this right here is his own signature custom color that he created with Sixth Sense Fishing. This is the Jane Juice. This is a Cloud9 C10, 10 foot diving crankbait. As the water cools off, those fish will be going down deeper. And I love cold weather cranking. I love throwing a crankbait in the winter time. And this Jane Juice right here in the C10 is one that I, that Joker is flying his plane back over. Go land, go land. Shout out to all the pilots out there, man. My dad's a pilot, I love airplanes. So this right here is the Jane Juice Cloud9 C10 super heater of a color. Got that lavender on the back, that light pale chartreuse, the black accents. That is a super killer color. I wish I had thought of it to be honest with you. That is amazing. <laughs> If you guys would like to see me create a custom color with Six Sense Fishing, go down below in the comments, drop me a comment, leave a thumbs up on the video. Let's get that feedback, maybe we can make that happen. But wait, there's more. This right here is another Cloud9 C10. This is the 4K Shad color. Love this color, white with the silver back, light blue accents, C10. 4K Shad, one of my favorite colors that they offer. I have this color in practically every hard bait that they offer it in, and super confidence. This is this one is a Cloud9 C6. I might have said C10, my mistake. This is a C6, six foot diving, medium diver, C6, killer. 4K Shad C6, loving it. Love the Cloud9 series. Caught a ton of fish on the Cloud9s. But wait, there's more. Got another squim jig in here. This is a half ounce copper back gill, made in USA, Devon swim jig. Check that out, dude. 
It's gonna go great with these Kitex, dude. That sunfish smoke, copperback gill. I have a bunch of shad pattern Devon swim jigs. Most of my Devon swim jigs are shad pattern. So I wanted to branch out and get some more bluegill type stuff coming up in the summertime. You know, the bluegill will be spawning. And for when I wanna throw a stroker crawl on the back, like you saw me rig up earlier, or just fish down there a little bit deeper, or use a different color variation. Maybe when they're not hitting the shad style stuff, I'll be able to uh, make those adjustments now, add some sunfish style, some more natural, darker toned colors to the arsenal. Devon swim jig, Devon smoke, my favorite swim jig on the market. Number one confidence bait right there. Caught my PB on the Devon swim jig. Nine pounds, eight ounces. And that video is here on the channel. If you guys wanna go check it out, hit up that fishing videos playlist that will be down below in the description. You can go back and watch every fishing video that I've ever created. Watch that full blown evolution from the beginning to now, right here on this channel. All right, next up, we got another C6. This is that 4K gizzard, really similar to the shad scales, but has that gizzard shad look to it. Sort of a bronze copper back on there. It's like a mix of the 4K shad and the shad scales with a little bit of a gizzard look to it. As you can see, it has that copper, amber back, silver lateral line, realistic scales, white belly, psh, super heater, the Cloud9 C6 in 4K gizzard. Woo, that's a smoke show right there, dude. Definitely gonna be throwing that when it gets a little colder and those fish are down there a little bit deeper. All right. What else we got in here? You guys have been seeing me throw the Curve 55 Finesse Square Bill a lot lately. So I sacked up and packed up with these things, man. I got a bunch of them. I'm gonna pull out two at a time. That same color we just looked at, the 4K Shad, I got a Curve Finesse Square Bill in that color as well. I already have one of these, but I wanted to have another one. Gotta have multiples when you're crankbait fishing. It's volatile, sometimes you lose them. This one right here, Ghost Pro Shad. Similar look, it's just got a ghost body with a little sort of purplish lavender hue sheen, dark silver back, white belly with that copper tail, red accents around the gill plate. Psh, that right there will be a destroyer in clear water. Can't wait to try that one out. Been doing really good on the Curve Finesse lately. The Curve 55 Finesse Square Bill from Six Cents Fishing. And really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and mention right now, before we get into the rest of what's in this box, and there is plenty more in there for me to show you. If you're interested in scooping any of these baits for yourself, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 at checkout for 10% off everything on the website. It's an excellent way to save money and support the channel at the same time. So if you like what we got going on over here and you're looking to score yourself some of the best hard baits in the game, check out Six Cents and use my code JR10 for the win. All right, now let's get back off into the box and see what else we got in here. A couple more Curve 55 Finesse Square Bills. And look at that. What did I say, man? You gotta have multiples. So there's another one of the one we just looked at. That's the Ghost Pro Shad. This one right here is Shad Scales. We already looked at a Shad Scales Provoke 106, and this right here is the same color, just in the Finesse Square Bill. This is the Curve 55 Finesse Square Bill. Not to be confused with the regular Curve 55. The Curve 55 is a medium diving crankbait. This right here is a square bill. You're gonna go to that one to three foot depth range up there, super shallow for when they're chasing bait fish up next to the shoreline. And this is one of my favorite baits to throw in the fall time. If you guys haven't seen my recent videos where I've been out there smashing them on this, go check them out. They're also in that fishing videos playlist right here on the channel for you guys to enjoy. But wait, there's more, We've got a couple more. Let's check it out. Another 4K shad, multiple, stocking up on the shad colors. This one right here is a little different. This is Live Shiner. This is one of my favorite colors to throw the Speed Wake in. You guys have seen me out there fishing the Speed Wake in this color. Wanted to grab me one in the Curve Finesse Square Bill. Look at that thing, dude. Super detailed. Got the copper and the amber with the blue back, realistic scales, white belly. Full blown heater of a bait right there, man. Let's keep rocking. Got a couple more Curve 55s in here to show you. There's another Live Shiner, the one we just looked at. This one right here, here's a different color. This is the Shad Pro. I really like the look on this one. Didn't have this color yet, wanted to add it to the arsenal. It's like a mix between the 4K Shad and the Live Shiner that I just showed you. It's got the white body, has these gold accents, realistic scales, that lavender back. Psh, dude, that's a killer. That's a killer. I think this might be my favorite new color that I've seen in the Curve Finesse right there. That's awesome. Stoked on that one, dude. Stoked on that one. Shallow square bill fishing. Some of my absolute favorite fishing to do. Love it. Heck yeah, dude. We got the freaking heat. Two more. There's another one. Another one of those and another Shad Scales as well. Doubled up on several of those. That way I could have backups for my backups for my backups. You know the deal. Now. What else do we got? Whoa, 
Got baits falling everywhere. But wait, there's more. What else we have in here? Looks like I got a few crush baits in here as well. First up, the Crush 50X square bill crankbait. Probably my favorite crankbait on the planet. My favorite square bill crankbait at least. This is the Spanish Pearl. It's just a little bit different take on a white bait. Super bold white pattern when you're fishing a little bit dirtier water. Anytime I head up river and I need to get something that stands out a little bit more, this is gonna be perfect for that. It's not quite bright white, but almost. I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of that Spanish bone look to it. Just a little bit different. Awesome. Sweet, dude. That's the Spanish Pearl Crush 50X. But wait, there's more. What else do we got? Oh yeah, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Chartreuse Black Pearl Crush 50. Check it out. Got that mean red eye on there, really natural, light, light, super light yellow, bright white belly, red accents around the gill plates, and a black back. Crush 50X, square bill, my favorite square bill crankbait. Caught some monstros on that, caught a ton of fish on the Crush 50. I have so much fun throwing that thing. And of course, Chester Cheeto, as the dude flies back over with his plane. This is my favorite Crush 50X color right here, the Radiation Craw. This was sent in by a friend of the channel. Shout outs to Robert Timmerman for sending me these Cheetos. They're currently sold out on the website. He scored some and sent me a box full of these bad boys. So now I'm stocked up on the Cheeto as well. Thanks again to Robert. But wait, there's more in here as well. What else do we got? Ooh wee, I already have one of these I think, but I wanted to get another one in the Crush 50S, which is the silent version of the Crush 50X. No rattles, creeper mode, but check that thing out, dude. This is the high def craw. Supernatural brown crawfish color. Looks like a custom painted bait, but it ain't. So many of Six Sense baits look like they were custom painted, but nope, these are production colors. Available at a production price. Boom, check that out, dude. Awesome, super heater. That's that high def craw, Crush 50S. But you need to go in hush mode. Sometimes being quiet is the deal. I've done really well switching it up from a crankbait with rattles to one without rattles. Crush 50S gets it done, but wait. All right, this right here, Crush Flat 75X, another one of my favorite square bills to throw. This is that 4K gizzard color that we looked at earlier, just in the Crush Flat 75X. Awesome, awesome square bill crankbait right there, man. It's another one not to be looked over during the fall time. I'm going back into that Crush 50S silent mode. This color right here, copper green shad. Could not resist it. Saw it on the website and knew it was going to look even better in person. So I had to scoop me one that is a super heater. Look at that color, dude. I love it, I love it. Got that really natural sheen on the side with the copper, dark copper back, faded white and copper belly, red eye, smoke show. That's a smoke show. But wait, there's more. Got one more in here to show you. That Crawfish Nook Crush 50. Love this color, dude. It's got that gold, that orange belly, little light purple pink accent on the tail. Reminds me of Chester Cheeto, so I already know this bait is gonna do really well out here. Wanted to snag me one of these to try out. Check out the accents on the back, that's super cool. Crawfish Nook Crush 50X. And that is an awesome way to round out the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me crack into that box. Take a look at all these new baits. Got a freaking tackle pile, tackle mile right here. And I'm happy, can't wait to uh, go out there on the water with you guys and throw some of this stuff in the very near future. Speaking of the very near future, I have some packages here, as you might be able to see. There's a little FedEx box back there, package here package there. I got another unboxing coming your way. Some really exciting stuff in a future video. So stick around, stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Sub to the channel, help us color in the bar back here on the subscriber board and reach that elusive YouTube silver play button. Can't do it without you guys. I would love to have you riding along with what we got going on over here. Put out new fishing videos all the time. So make sure you sub, stick around, kick those notification bells on so you know when I post my future videos. Once again, check out theheaterzone.com if you want to get yourself one of these awesome shirts with this gnarly looking bass on there. We also have the Feduta shirts, fish every day until the Apocalypse. If you do buy yourself a shirt or a sticker pack or anything else off theheaterzone.com, you're going to be entered in to win that giveaway. Shout outs to Six Cents Fishing, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win, and shout outs to Waterland. I also have some more packages on the way, so we'll be doing more unboxings here really soon. I know you guys love the unboxing content, so I've been trying to crank these out for you as well as the fishing vids. Check out that video description if you're interested in knowing how you can support the channel. Save yourself some bread on some of the best tackle in the game at the same time. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. That's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one.